Hey everyone, Neil Mango here. Today I want to check out how broken Minecraft 1.13 is at the moment. So we're currently in the snapshots. In order to check it out, I uploaded a copy of our survival world on our AUX server. And let's see. So I just want to fly around, check some existing contraptions, how they would work. Um, so we probably should go to the Mesa Hub. Just gonna teleport there. And I can see what's going on. So I guess the first thing I have to check out is our piston bolt system because that should actually be broken by... Wait, can't, I can't do F3N. Ah, here we go. This should actually be broken by a lot of the rail changes. And here you can see already what happened. On every chunk border, the rails get updated for some reason by just loading the world. So this obviously would break um, piston bolts with about 25 kilometers worth of those piston bolts and they would definitely be broken. This should definitely be fixed uh, since I uh, don't see a point in updating rails and junk borders. We specifically place those rails in this way and to make it work so I was, yeah, can probably push the button and as you can see, there we go. Also, yeah, it's quite laggy and the rails get straightened even more. So this should definitely be addressed. Okay, maybe let's take a look around. Um, I'm curious if the seven segment display is still working. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> so this also has a lot of rails and observers in it. And probably they also update somehow and break the system. So even existing contraptions can be broken by those rail updates uh, just after reloading. The game is also quite choppy at the moment, so I'm just standing here at the NASA hub, there's not much going around here, and I'm just having 20 to 40 FPS. I'm not sure if this is a lack, a lack of Optifine, or it's just poorly optimized at the moment. That's just something I noticed. Interestingly, uh, some yeah, resident contraptions still work. So this is the instant crafting bench swapper. That one still works. Probably because it doesn't use any observers. So I already know that observers cause a lot of trouble. And this was built before the observer error in 1.8. So this still works. Just some old school redstone. So I'm wondering if a system like this one here works. So every time you would empty one of those shulker boxes would dispense a new one. And seems like this also works. So I wanted to go to our main storage and this happened. So we had a wizard trapped in here for three years, but apparently wizard cages are no longer safe and the wizard can escape. So this is our main storage. I want to see if the sorting system works. Let's just put in some items in here and then the shulker box should be picked up by the hopper. All right, so apparently hoppers no longer pick up items. Seems like every hopper is broken. Um, yeah, maybe I can put in the shulker box manually. <laughs> all right. And now the hopper doesn't work at all anymore. So it seems like hoppers are completely broken. Maybe if I just put in the items directly into the dropper. So this one just distributes, or just shoots out the items to be sorted. Let's see. That works at least. Okay. That seems to work. Now let's see if item elevators still work, the old school ones. Um, no. So definitely the changes to water will break some item elevators. All right. So since hoppers don't work at all at the moment, I guess there's no point trying to test the actual sorting system. And I'm getting just 20 FPS in here. So probably it's a good idea to look at something else. So there's also probably no point in taking a look at the furnace array system since all the hoppers are broken. Maybe let's take a look at the little farms we have here in the back. So this is a nano farm. Um, this should be broken. Yeah, you can no longer place seeds in here since the light level is insufficient. Let's turn this off. And it seems like you can't even turn it off anymore. So it just keeps looping for some reason. Yeah, so it seems like this is broken. The next thing I wanted to take a look at was this 5x5 five five door, but it broke before even touching it or taking a look at it. I recently got asked by a lot of people if you want to update to 1.13 as soon as it comes out. And my answer was always that we have a lot of plans for 1.12. We want to finish a lot of projects first in there. 
And as it looks right now, 1.13 would break half of our world and also severely limit the amount of yeah, gameplay features that we have. For example, TNT duping would be gone, wizard cages are gone, um, and a lot of the a little features that weren't really official got removed in 1.13 so far. So there's really not, nothing interesting we could do even so far. For a technical player, nothing of interest got added in 1.13 really. And yeah, let's take a look at the next farm. So I thought it makes sense to look at a simple flower farm next. This is quite simple. So we have a bone meal dispenser below the grass blocks and we shift this floor back and forth and break the flowers on top. And at the moment this also doesn't work. Is the on switch. Because grass and flowers don't get broken if you yeah, move the blocks below them. It's a bit weird at the moment. Also, the performance is horrible. I'm getting uh, 4 or 3 FPS here. And also the server is really having a hard time just with this simple farm here. So usually we would have four of those running at the same time without any issues. Now some grass was randomly broken. It's really weird at the moment. I also tested this block swapper here that we had for a chorus flower farm. This one works fine. But it's quite laggy again. So it seems like it's poorly optimized at the moment. Uh, I think the reason why this works fine is that it doesn't involve any moving observers. Um, so yeah, pretty much all the classic redstone without observers should be unaffected at the moment, as far as I can tell. While mining ghost blocks are fixed, piston ghost blocks are still the same. Here's something else that wouldn't work at all at the moment. So at the moment there's no working iron farm in 1.13 because the village mechanics uh, don't work at all. You can't create any village and therefore you can't get any iron golem spawning. I wanted to see if our mob switch works at the moment, but it seems like you can't push entities uh, with pistons at the moment. There's also another issue at the moment that a lot of people have trouble with. If you want to join a server, your game would crash. So what you need to do in order to join a server at the moment is join a single player world first. And then you can leave it again. And then you can join a multiplayer server. This is the workaround at the moment. Not a lot of people know this actually. Okay, so we're here at the garden farm and here randomly a portal got removed. So Methods is helping me out here a little bit. Uh, we wanted to test the garden farm, but at the moment everything that is structure based doesn't work uh, at the moment. So no yeah, guardian spawning at all here at the guardian farm. This also applies for other structures. Uh, methods you tested for the witch hut? Yeah, I think I've not really tested it for our witch hut, but I followed like Lambon's bug report. He made a really sophisticated bug report about it. I think pretty much every structure that spawned mobs is basically gone at the moment. So if you had a witch farm, it, it's gone. If you had a guardian farm, it's gone. All that's like a uh, structure based spawning specific is like not happening at all. So okay. that's a that's a huge problem at the moment. So here's something else that's broken. All of our minecart elevators don't work after you use them once. Because for some reason they start pulsing again and causing a lot of lag. At least I found the issue why the nether was so laggy. So this system here also started pulsing and now it's a bit better. So we have 120 FPS again. Or if you move around 60 to 120. So the next thing I want to test is a flying machine. This was a tunnel bore, so the main function uh, shouldn't work at all anymore. So we yeah, duped TNT here in order to break the blocks in front. But I just want to see if the flying machine per se works. Okay. This at least looks promising. We get some ghost blocks, obviously. But it seems like flying machines at the moment would work. This is the next thing we wanted to test, the slime farms, but it seems like slime chunks aren't slime chunks anymore, so we can't test this farm. I also tried the computer here in the back, so it displays how many slime blocks we have. This one still works, so if we take out a few, then it would update it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much the same issue as before. Everything without observers, redstone based, still works. The main issue is at the moment that hoppers don't work properly and observers don't work properly. Right, I guess it's time for resume. I'm sure if you would go to the other farms, you would see the same issues over and over again. Um, I think 
a lot of the stuff I've shown today would be fixable and I really hope that some of the bugs shown today get some attentions and will be fixed before the final 1.13 release. Thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day, bye bye. Bye bye.